Hello children, this is your Regine Amos. Uh, how are you children? I hope all are fine at your homes. Uh, COVID-19 is the biggest problem to facing in our society. So children, we can't come to our school. So every children must utilize this online opportunity. Okay children, let us come to our chapter. Uh, the chapter uh, name is major landforms that's already you discussed which are the major lands landforms yes which are they the land uh, major landforms mountains plateaus plains rivers and and desert these are the five major landforms so already you discussed uh, what is mountains and what is plateaus and what are the importance of these okay tell me children what is mountains yes a mountain is a landform which are raised above the 900 meter so that is we called mountains and what is plateaus plateaus the another name is table land and tell me what is plateaus plateaus are high land with flat top that is we called plateaus okay and tell me children what are the importance of plateaus we have any importance to plateaus yes the first point is plateaus have grassland so on which cattle and sheep ride in the you see in the that important plateaus yes plateaus have grassland grassland in the end you see you know on which cattle and uh, sheep are reared in the plateaus and the another importance of plateaus are some uh, some plateaus uh, rich minerals we can found uh, which are the minerals coal iron copper these are the minerals we can found in this plateaus okay then after that we are going to learn about what is plains tell me children what is plains plains Tell me, plains are flat and level land is called plains. What is plains? Flat and level land is called plains, isn't it? The plains is a good for good good soil and it is good for uh, cultivating the crops, isn't it? And tell me, children, how the plains are formed? Engineer plains forming. How the plains are formed? We are already studied in the fourth standard. Uh, in the Himalaya, some rivers are originate in the Himalaya. These rivers are flowing through the northern plains, and these rivers are carry what uh, carry sand, silt, and these uh, things, and deposit in the bank of the rivers. So this process to uh, form a plains. Okay, so the plains are formed these deposits in a deposit in the nana in the form in the the plains are formed okay children so we can uh, some plains are in interior and some plains are near the sea coast that the thriller pain plains under some plains are in interior and some plains are near the uh, sea coast okay children and tell me what are the importance of plains plains and importance in the care what are the importance of plains yes first importance is plains have plains have good fertile soil okay plains have good fertile soil which is suitable for agriculture okay so first point is fertile uh, sorry first point is the plains have good fertile soil which is uh, good suitable for agriculture the second point is most cities and towns are uh, most cities and towns are located in the plains okay most cities and town uh, towns also located in the plains this is the second point the third point is we can construct uh, what is we can construct a road a railways this everything's we can construct in the plains okay so these are the three importance of plains and i will ask you why uh, one of the question also in your textbook that is uh, why the plains thickly populated why the plains are thickly populated in dondana jenangal thingi parkunnathu plains in that is the reason also this one which is the answer that is plains have good fertile soil and also that is good for to agriculture and also uh, most big big cities and towns are located in this place and we can construct easily we can construct 
uh, road, railway, etc. So, this is the reason most the peoples are thickly populated in this place. Okay, children. The second major landform is desert. What is desert? Yes, we have already know that desert is full of covered with sand. That is, uh, desert are land area that receive very little, ra uh, very little rainwater. That means very little rainfall. desert. So that is the reason the climate is very hot. Okay, children. The climate is very hot. And tell me, what are the importance of a desert? And what are the features of desert? In the Kiarikin desert, the features. Yes, the first the feature. Sorry, the first desert. Uh, first features are very hot days and cold night. One of first uh, reason is that or the first features are in very uh, cold at night and very hot in days. Okay. The second feature is frequent dust storm. Tudarchiaitla dust storm. What do you mean by dust storms? Manalkat. Tudarchiaitla manalkat. I would end down in a desert. And the third point in point is hills of sand called sand dens. You can turn down pictures like uh, sand dens. What do you mean by sand dens? That is the Manalkata or Kunnu Kunnu Pole. Hills of sand. Okay. Hills of sand is called sand dens. The last uh, feature is little vegetation due to less rainfall. These are the features of desert. Okay, children, I will repeat that is which are the uh, what is the uh, features of desert. The first point is very hot in days and cold at night and frequent dust storms and hills of sand is called sand dens and little vegetation due to rainfall. These are the four uh, importance or these are the uh, four features are in desert. Okay. And um, we have some examples also in your textbook this uh, desert which are the famous desert that is first one is Sahara desert and Kalahari desert in Africa. The second great sandy desert and great Victoria desert in Australia. Then the third desert in and Arabian desert in Asia. We are in Asia continent which are the important desert are that is Thar desert and Arabian desert. The last one Patagonian desert and Atacama desert in South America. These are the important uh, desert. Uh, in this world okay and uh, the last landform is rivers how the rivers are formed the every rivers are formed in the Himalaya that's we are already steady and the rivers are natural channels that carry rainwater and uh, rainwater from the melted water in the uh, Himalaya also then melted snow in the Himalaya. Adum flow river Okay, and the rivers are a river passes through uh, a river passes through three stages. Moon stage rivers pass Which are the three stages? First one is the upper uh, and young coast the second one is middle coast the last one is the lower and the old coast okay uh, we will explain what is that the upper and the young coast that is uh, every rivers are most rivers are originate in the himalaya during that time the himalaya uh, rivers the speed the speed of the river is very very high River Himalayan and rivers originate in Asame Tendaum, the rivers in the speed and the Idikim, high Idikim. And the examples of uh, that is waterfalls, waterfalls and canyon and rapids. What do you mean by rapids? Namukana Kadium, some Chele Velangaloke, or overthrew the rocks. So that the speed and the high waterfalls and speed and the high That is the first feature, the upper and the young coast. What is the upper and young coast? That is the rivers originate in the mountains uh, and the speed of the river is very 
high okay children the second one is middle of the course that is the middle of the course the river beginning uh, uh, beginning when it leaves uh, in the when it leaves the mountain and to enter in the plains that is the mountain in the other day we didn't know enter lay a plains leaky enter chain no at the side at the time the speed of the river is decrease could you know the current you will get on us in the middle course okay and the last one is the last one is the lower of the old course at the that is uh, the speed of the river is very slow our samethas river and the speed and the irikyum very slow and uh, uh, the river deposit the silt uh, silt of carry near the mouth and and we can see the uh, delta also from there well, which, is, which is the biggest delta in the world that is Sundarvan delta so that delta also forming in the last process and after another in the in the you know that is to fall into the biggest river that is Brahmaputra and Ganga river uh, joining the Bay of Bengal okay children so you want to read your textbook proper uh, which are the major landform and uh, what are the important and what are the features of this okay children thank you